Hello, chat. Hello. Uh, hello, Murdoch. Hello, Dr. R. Hello, Culture Chimp. It is another Pokemon day, and we have a Tippy and a Donnie with us this morning. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Is your Bidoof like an actual team member, or is it just for HMs? A little bit of yes, a little bit of but, uh, a little bit of yes, a little bit of no. Okay. It's a dude! A Geo dude, perhaps! Oh my god, now we're doing more stunning, but this is fun. Wait. Imagine if you could. <laughs> imagine. If, like, there actually was, like, the pretty part inside of a geode, like, inside a geodude. Like, you open its mouth and you see, like, a sparkle inside. I could just... I was about to say geo burn, like, ge geodude... I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I trailed up very fucking bad. Would, would, a, would a female geodude be a ge geodudette? Probably. Hello, Zula. Hello, Weezing. Hello. Literally, Weezing. <laughs> yeah. That's the name of the username. Literally, like one of the people watching in the chat. But uh, like inside a inside a geo dude is just a dude. It's funny. Since that you do this, just empty. Oh. oh Lord. Uh, maybe growling would be a good idea. Nah, I got or it. Or switch out to a different Pokemon works too. Wait, yeah. your Peplop's a female. Yeah, I got lucky. That is, oh. that is lucky that, right there. That's oh, a twelve point oh. five percent. I know. We, we talked. We we talked about this in the last uh, uh, platinum stream. Also, thank you for the follow, Andre uh, Pro CH. What is my favorite Pokemon? Uh, Luxray, which is like the uh, my Shinx is currently the only male on my team. So. I think it's funny. Are you gonna get the spear? Oh, okay. sorry. I've got two more Pokemon that I can get, and I already have plans for both of them.
Are you gonna... Are there a surprise? Uh, one of them is. One of them is a surprise. Okay, I'm not gonna budge. Uh, the other one... The other one might be obvious. The other one might be a little obvious. Got it. I need a new controller yeah, so desperately. I just, I just recognize who Andre Prostiage is. Okay, hello. CD. No. Uh, Andre Prostiage is uh, also a follower of my own, like on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't always remember people, but I do remember vaguely. Memory is shit sometimes. I apologize. Hey, Jaceva. Hey, Jaceva. I swear to God, if you hurt yourself in confusion. Oh, okay. No. Super Sonic has a 55% chance of hitting, and it hit twice in a row. Welcome to me playing Pokemon. Are you like Nakito with your luck? No. I'm actually typically very unlucky. Sometimes the game will throw me a bone, but not very frequently. What is that gonna do? One HP? Oh, two HP! Critical hit! <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay! So threatening! Oh my god! No! No! Oh! Oh! Oh, thank god. What? The fuck? If it misses. <laughs> okay, then. 55% means never for you, but always for the AI. Yeah, it's like, I, I never get benefits. Or I rarely get benefits. <laughs> but yeah. Um, now, to answer your question from earlier, yeah, Bidoof is going to be my HM slave, but he is going to be a staple member, or she is going to be a staple member of the team. So. Because I don't want to make the same mistake that I made last time. Because when I first played Pokemon Diamond, it being my first Pokemon game, I didn't know that HMs were non-removable. So my Empoleon wound up being my HM slave. Oh, that has to suck. Yeah. Well, I know, I know now. I didn't at the time because it was my first main series Pokemon game. But. Mm -hmm. I know now. I, I know better now. I love how BDSP acknowledges, like, this issue of HM slaves and just, like, decided to make, like, make it a feature. Which saves a lot, so that way I don't have to use a fucking Badoop to use cut. Oh, I, don't I, don't the... I don't mind Doof. What? What do you think of the Bidoof character in Mystery Dungeon? <laughs> Best character, TBH. In a sea of not-so-great characters, Bidoof is the best. You don't like Wigglytuff? Mm, Wigglytuff is up there. 
I, I don't like most of the other characters, though. Like, I- Chatot was kind of, eh. Um... Your partner was a fucking idiot. Uh... Grovile and, and Dusnor were, were too convoluted as characters. Like, they, it, nothing they did felt natural at all. That, nothing they did felt Imagine Dragons. At some point, I should, like... I don't feel like it. However, in the near future, maybe next year when I get better internet, um, I do want to, like, stream Mystery Dungeon. Well, I'm technically am streaming a mystery dungeon game, just not, not as worse as guy. I'm, I'm I'm streaming DX, and God, I love how Bowser dude have this bid where I have to give him apples, and I'm like, you're not oh, hungry. That doesn't you're help me. Okay, so water sport oh. doesn't help me. It just hurts the opponent if they're using fire types. Awesome. I love that move specifically in Gen Four. <laughs> what an awesome move to have in the Sinnoh region. <laughs> <laughs> that, that took a bit, actually. Oh. A move that, that dwindles fire moves. What a useful fucking tool that will- that will totally be useful <laughs> later. <laughs> I was so confused. I muted and I paused the stream, but I could still hear your voice. I just thought you were repeating yourself. <laughs> Doodle's frustrated over water sport. I'm not frustrated, frustrated I just think it's... Things. I'm not <laughs> frustrated over water sport, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> well, what else is Magikarp supposed to do? Fucking splash? No, you don't understand. Water s No, you don't understand. Water sport is a move that lowers the attack power of fire-type moves. In Gen 4. <laughs> Wait, can you get a Heaven Door in this game? I haven't played it in a while. Oh, J. Romy, welcome to the chat. I, I hope you enjoy your all. stay. There's actually quite a few Pokemon games that I have missed in the in between. I think primarily Emerald and Platinum. Okay, I have a confession. The of the originals. The one generation. <laughs> I have never beat is Gen 3. Did I say that I beat any game. generation? <laughs> Wait, Wait, you haven't? Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Culture Chin brings up a good point. Mudsport, which is mainly learned by ground types, weakens electric type moves. What the fuck, Pokemon? <laughs> I think what they want you to do is they want you to use the move and then immediately switch out. <laughs> But like, like, if it's weak against it, just fucking use it. <laughs> the, the Every thing, water type the, say no, it's no water type that, moves. Fucking spit on it. The thing that the thing that I think is funny though, right? When it comes to when it comes to water sport in Gen Four, is it's a pretty common thing to joke about how there are like two fire types in Gen Four. Mm-hmm. So, like, what am I gonna use it on? The- the one Ponyta in the game? The- the fucking Chimchar Monferno Infernate that your part- that your- your- your fucking rival has? What the Who's fuck am I going Ponyta? to use Water Sport on? <laughs> Who's just gonna bully Ponyta the entire time? <laughs> I hate that's called Water Sport. I hate it. I think the only one I haven't beat is, like, the out of the games that I've played is red and blue because the- I- you know what? No, I'll take the fact that I won it. I lost to fucking Gary! That's what I named him. His name is Blue in the original. I lost to my rival because I beat the champion and it's like, Hey, motherfucker! And it's just- I didn't realize that you had to fight him one more time. And it's bullshit. It's trash. 
I was so happy as a kid, I shut off the game. <laughs> then there you go, so culture mad. chimp! There you go! Your rival wouldn't have Chimchar if you have Piplup. Exactly! <laughs> there are still plenty of fire-type moves. I mean, I guess. But I just think it's hilarious that, like... Fucking Gen I mean, 4 Water Sport, in the particular. The thing is, they, they added more, uh, fire-types to the Pokedex and Platinum specifically. I know they did. So it's a little bit more useful, but, like, Jesus. <laughs> so funny. I've never seen so anyone seriously use Mud Sport or Water Sport. <laughs> I've yeah, in fairness, Water Sport, Water Sport does kind of have a similar like thing to Mud Sport in that like Water types will learn Water Sport against Fire types. By the way, I love I love like while like we're having this conversation, the number of people joining it just increased dramatically. Everyone's shit talking water sport. Secretly, it's been like a massive thing in the Pokemon fan. And finally, someone shitting on water sport. <laughs> finally, someone gets me. <laughs> finally, someone understands how fucking stupid Pokemon can be. <laughs> Peak game design! What if we took a hose, and we gave it a water gun? <laughs> like, hey, hey, I'm a firefighter. There's a big-ass fire. I'm gonna fucking... Hey, what if before you hit it with the hose, you take this shitty dollar store squirt gun and fill it with piss? There you go. Yeah. That, Just squirt like... that maybe two or three times and then fucking hydro pump that ass. We need a- we need a sport- we need a- hold on, uh, Culture Chimp says we need a sport of every type. Ah, yes! Give the ghosts- er, give the anti-ghost sport to normal types! Reggie said Reggie sport for play tape, she gains to go to- Why would you use a water sport if you can just one-shot a fire type with literally anything? Ooh, what do we thought it would be called? Spirit sport? I guess. I feel like but that yeah, would just, sound cool. You just that give, sucks, though. That's a cool name for a shitty move. <laughs> Spirit sport for, nor for normal types. <laughs> Psychic sport for fighting types. Wait. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, shit! Oh! <laughs> Be useful! We can't have what useful. Am I yeah, we can't have yeah. it be useful. We can't have it be useful. What we're essentially doing is we're taking these gods and we're giving them paper clips to fight. It's fine. Fairy sport weakens dragon type moves. <laughs> God damn. Double battles? Yeah, double battles probably do use it, but like, I just still think it's hilarious. Did Gen 4 even have double battles? They didn't yes, start doing that did. until Gen... Okay. Three. It was Gen 3. It was 3. Oh no, I'm mixing it up with rotation battles. The rotation <laughs> battles. Like... Rotation yeah, battles I'm... specifically Gen 5. I'm I think it was not looking only forward Gen to those. I'm not like looking to forward to those. I mean, there aren't very many in... Especially in black and white. You do it I'm maybe like two or three times, it's mostly for the train. Which is optional. <laughs> I'm still not looking forward to those. Cause like... I think they're kind of fun. It's like yeah. a puzzle. Welcome to another episode of Doodle Does Not Much Care for Gen 5. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! Lux is gonna be mad. It's the best one! <laughs> it's the one that everyone <laughs> shat on before Pokemon Sword! I, yeah, I and the, yeah, and, I and, the, the difference, and the difference and the difference between me and everyone else is I'm still not a fan of it. <laughs> I'm uh, it's almost as if I'm consistent or something. Wait, well, you want a sport that weakens dark type moves? Here's a goddamn flashlight! God. <laughs> but yeah. 
Doodle has bad taste. talk about Gen having 5... bad taste. Look, Gen 5 is my least favorite of the generations. I would not call it the worst, not by any stretch of the imagination, but it's definitely my least favorite. Okay, tell, because... tell us why. <laughs> I mean... So for me, I'm not like... For, for me, I don't really play Pokemon for the story, I'm gonna be honest. Um, if you do, <laughs> then cool, but I don't play Pokemon for the story. I think... Yeah. Pokemon does not have good stories nine times out of ten. How dare you. <laughs> I'm... I'm don't serious! You know, don't you know Gen 5 is when we get to beat the shit out of PETA? I mean, I guess. Oh, he's a oh, oh, yeah, remember, oh, yeah, no, remember... Oh, God, no, remember when, uh... When uh, black and white was announcing shit, like PETA decided to just go and sh go bonkers. It also went yeah, bonkers no, it's... with sword and shield. Well, oh yeah, yeah no. they did. The the big thing that everyone praises Gen Five for is its story, and I'm not going to deny that the story in Gen Five is better than most of the other Pokemon games. As I said, I wouldn't call it a bad generation by any means, but it is my least favorite because I don't play Pokemon for the story. I play it for the journey of, you know, getting to the to the Elite Four, becoming the champion and stuff like that. So for me, I focus a lot more on the actual generation itself. Like the areas that you go to, the, the some of the characters that you meet, possibly, and the Pokemon. The Pokemon are the big ones. And for me, I feel like a lot of Gen 5's Pokemon designs kind of are very hit or miss. Like, don't get me wrong, the ones that I like from Gen 5 are some of my favorite Pokemon, period. I love Maracas. Cub just as an example. <laughs> but, cub the ones that I... Yeah, no, as I said, it, it, the, my, like, the, 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 the Pokemon that I like from Gen 5, I love. I adore, they are some of my favorite Pokemon. But the ones that I don't much care for are some of my least favorite Pokemon. It is, like, there's not very much of an in-between here. Um, so it's like, eh. The generation is very hit or miss in that department. A lot of the areas don't really, like, stand out to me. I, I of course, I remember the bridge. But then again, who, who doesn't remember the bridge? Um... But outside of that, I don't really remember a lot of the areas that you go to. A lot of the towns feel very unmemorable and kind of just bleed together a lot for me. Uh, just a personal thing. Um, and I just, I just don't really feel like the journey to get to the Elite Four, you know, kept me invested enough to continue, like, going through the entire game. Which is why I stopped where I did, which was, I think, after the Cowboy. Uh, Clay was his name. Yep. So Clay. I, I kind of I kind of stopped at that point in the game because I just didn't really find myself wanting to keep coming back to it or wanting to persist to go on through it. So while I would never say that Gen Five is a bad generation, it is definitely not my favorite. It's it's bottom of the list for me. I, I want hear a very to bad idea. <laughs> I want to ask uh, the question, uh, Doodle, considering Gen 5 was brought up. Are you planning on playing that next after Yes, I'm, I'm going to play through Gen 5. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to play through it, but I'm not looking forward to it. Are you sure she's playing uh, in the <laughs> Wait, why not? Uh, because I just got Gen through explaining is... that... <laughs> I just got through explaining that Gen 5 is my least favorite of the generation. We just got here, be nice! Oh, I... I just oh, that's fair. I know, I know, I know. I know. I'm just saying. I, I just got through explaining. Also, I have matches. <laughs> the pyro. I thought it would be a good eyes. idea to make s'mores at my desk. Now we have like a full party of of little small doodles. Holy shit! Uh, Tippy's a Bidoof, I'm a Pipla, Zenny Shinks, and then uh, it's the Donnie's sorry. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, that actually fits pretty well. I love playing well. I'm a, I'm a bird. I was about to say this is not a. F I was about to say this is not a friend lock. It could be. <laughs> if one of us dies, we die forever. <laughs> Are you saying I'll no. grow up to become badass? Is that what you're saying, Nazi? Yes. 
Thank you. Oh, I you appreciate are it. Right at the age of 42. I was gonna say, Donnie, you're like apocalypse. I was gonna say, Donnie, yeah, you're so... already a furret. You're already badass. Yeah. Oh. So, cool, yeah. Culture Chimp saying, see, I like Gen 5 for being the current turning point of Gen leaders having actual characters. I mean, as I said, it's not a, uh, it, that's not a bad thing, but the, the problem that I have with that in particular is that they didn't keep that. The, unfortunately, they never, they didn't really keep the fact that the gym leaders had character in, like, future games. And I guess it's not necessarily a dig at Gen 5, but I just, I don't think that saves the generation as a whole for me. Also, furthermore, I guess another thing is just, like, some other generations do have the gem leaders, like, gem leaders or, you know, the characters surrounding the region have, like, a actual character to them or have, like, some distinct that's, personalities that's, or just charm. That's literally what Culture Chip had just got through saying. Oh, wait, oh my god. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I, uh... But yeah, no, I just, I don't know. As I said, Gen 5 is definitely one of the cooler generations, like, as far as, like, from a technical standpoint, and from, like, the, what it did and, like, how it's designed. But it doesn't really fit what I look for in a Pokemon generation. Which is fine. I, I'm never going to get onto someone's case for liking Gen 5. I will, however, look at you guys as... Or I will look at some of you guys, maybe not you guys in the chat, but I will look at some of you guys that like Gen 5 as a pack of hypocrites. <laughs> oh. I'm just no, saying. No, definitely. Half of the people that like Gen 5 are fucking hypocr hypocritical as shit. Because the majority, well not the majority, but half of them hated it. But And then they're the ones that started the train of the current game sucks. And then when the next game comes out, it's like... This game was actually really good, and you guys just didn't understand it. And then the fucking next game comes out, and the previous game that they just called shit is now- It is a train. It's a fucking train. When Arceus came out, suddenly everyone fucking loved Sword and Shield. And it's just like, you piece of shit. I'm gonna light this marshmallow on fire at my desk. I don't understand how people can be like that. I- I- I got into Pokemon during Gen 5, and I always loved it. I don't... I don't see what the hate is for. Okay, can I use see, something? See, Culture... Uh, yeah. Hold on, Someone Culture Chip rather... says... <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Go I, was gonna, I was going to acknowledge the chat again. Culture Chip yeah. says, for me, the one I dislike most is Gen 1. Gen 1 is the one that I would say is the worst. Yep. Yeah, that has aged so long. It's aged poorly. I was in a... I, I just... I, <laughs> I actually, uh, I actually bought Pokemon Yellow for my, uh, new 2DS XL, and I, uh, I ended up playing it without using a single repel because your inventory space is so small. See, Psychotic Sonic, I don't know how you disagree when psychic types were basically the instant win button of that generation. What? Like, what? Oh, Gen, we got Gen a, um... yeah, yeah, the psychotic sonics. Like, I disagree. I still think Gen One is fine. Gen Two, I would say, has aged a little bit better. Not by much, but it's aged better. Gen Here's One was horribly unbalanced. <laughs> Here's the thing. We're not saying. Well, I'm personally not saying it's bad. I don't I think am. Gen One is bad. <laughs> I think it's the worst of the series. I am. Um, I'm saying it's actually, bad. <laughs> and I, I don't know why. I'm really fine. I actually enjoy playing the original, both the original Gen Two and the remakes. Like, so, like, I don't know if I. Just, I feel like I came out of a simulation because. I'm I'm early, I'm on time for a Suzy stream, and I woke up to fucking JoJo's roundabout. <laughs> was it an alarm? <laughs> yeah, I have my alarm clock has like a radio setting, so like if I set a timer, I can like listen to the radio, and that'll wake me up. And I had it set to like one of those like uh, '60s rock channels, 
So, of all the songs to wake me up, freaking 6.30 in the morning, it was Roundabout by Yes. Awesome. <laughs> That's still yeah. a good song, though. <laughs> the freaking culture shock of it made me think it was in an anime. What the hell? <laughs> but yeah, um, you yeah, know, my my Pokemon opinions I do find are pretty weird as far as like what I think are like the best and worst of things. Because as I said, I think Gen one, I think Gen one is the worst, but I would not consider it my least favorite. That goes to Gen five. My favorite generation is the one that I'm currently playing now, but the the what I consider to be the best generation is honestly Gen 8. Which I think is a hot take. No, what I think, what game is I Gen, think Gen, Gen, uh, Gen 8 is uh, Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield. Uh, Sword and Shield, yeah. Ah. So you are the people that people hate. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, 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 honestly, but Gen 8 out, is... Gen 8's my second favorite yeah. generation. Of course you would like the game that you're fucking in. What? What? Uh, it, it, oh, it oh. No, anyway. No, but for me, if, if you hear me out, because I actually do have reasons why I think Gen 8 is the best of the generations. Because they had... Uh, while it's not perfect, right? I'm, I'm not going to sit mm -hmm. here and say that Sword and Shield are perfect games. They did a lot to really help the gameplay along, and there's a lot of, like, really good quality of life things that they've added that helps, you know, evolve Pokemon as a series. Mm -hmm. For instance, um, one thing that I would constantly do when I play a Pokemon game, and you can see this in all of my previous, like, uh, streams, uh, like, I guess stream series of, of, like, the Pokemon games that I've already played, is whenever I play, I typically only really catch the, the main team of six, and I don't really kind of go out past that. Um, because there's not really any reason to. Once you get your team, those are going to be your best Pokemon. They're going to have the moves that you want them to have, and they're probably going to be the best level. Anytime you catch anything else, then you're going to be stuck grinding for hours and hours at a time to get it to ca catch up, you know, to the rest of your team. Gen 8 doesn't allow- Gen 8, you don't have that worry because you have all the XP candies and, and like, raid battles and stuff like that that allow and you- And the curry. And the curry, yeah. And, and so you will- you, you allow- it, it basically gives more of an incentive to, as the series' logo has been since the beginning, catch them all. Like, there's more of an incentive to get more than your just- than your main team. So, I would say that's the best. That's the best way to think about it, or that's the best way to look at it, and the best way to, to, to design Pokemon as a game that encourages you to try to catch as many Pokemon as you can. Or at least that's what it has been wanting to encourage since the beginning, but it didn't really do a particularly good job at that up until Sword and Shield. And, 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 and uh, RC is also did that with, you know, with the main I will, focus team capturing Pokemon. I will say, again, the series, or like, Sword and Shield are not perfect games. Like, I do find, you give us, like, these beautiful cities that we can only, like, go into maybe four, like, maybe, maybe four buildings of. Not a lot of exploration in, in, the, in the towns, which is unfortunate. I thought there was um, a lot of exploration. There, oh, you're talking there, about the individual towns. Individual towns, yeah. There's a lot of exploration in, like, the wild area, which, all, which, by the way, really cool idea, and I'm glad they're bringing that back for Gen 9. Um, I, I can't wait to see how that's implemented with, uh, with the fucking gym leaders being able to be done in different that orders order. as, yeah, in any order, which I think, ah, uh, that's cool. I'm really excited for that. But I feel like, like it would also... I know that's odd to say for, like, a Pokemon game. Mm -hmm. Oddly realistic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you were in the Pokemon world, like, you, your status would not start... The, the world would not be built in a line. Yeah. Like, like, there, there's all these, right. in, these very convenient inconveniences that stop you from 
going ahead. Yeah, mm -hmm. like the map technically, ca oh, some of the maps I can't, can't are made to like so that you could go in branching paths, but the game uh, itself just says no. Mm hmm. Uh, fuck. It's better. Oh no! I can't switch out. Oh either. no! I can't switch well, out. Beat it. a god. It's fine. You have a god on your team. It's fine. Hey. Also, I, I really love fire. But no, um, if the gym leaders in SV aren't scaled, I'm gonna be upset. That is my biggest problem. If they are, if they're not scaled, then it's gonna be really interesting leveling up all your Pokemon to do the la- the, what the game would expect you to do the last gym leader, and then just work your way down. <laughs> just overpower every gym. That's funny. It would funny. be hilarious. <laughs> it would be hysterical. Wait, was that no longer bind? Let's go! Okay. Pikachu and Eevee. But yeah. Isn't it weird that I like Pokemon Let's Go Jenny. Pikachu and Eevee a lot more than the average person? I enjoyed Jinny when it came out, but unfortunately I can't say I enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed Jin's 3, 4, and 5. Well, as I said, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say Gen 8 is my favorite generation. I will say they're my favorite main series games, which I also think is kind of a hot take. But as a generation, I feel like it could have been a lot better. I, I mean, I granted, it... bear in mind that we're talking to the woman who hates Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. I, well, as I said, I... When it comes to Pokemon, I have a lot of hot takes. I have a lot of yeah. weird opinions about yeah. Pokemon. Well, that's the other thing, though, right? But it, this was very interesting. Is when TP came into the call, and she was just, she wasted no time. It's just like TP, I fucking hate Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> and then I chimed in, and it's like I've kind of learned that yeah, Mystery Dungeon is not nearly as good as I remember it to be, and that <laughs> at the time, I only liked it. Because it was cute. I didn't even fully like it. I was like kind of brainwashed into liking it. Because uh. that game is fucking unbalanced and uh, all of them, all of them. I... My Mystery Dungeon is fucking unbalanced and unfair as fuck. I actually kind of I... found Mystery Dungeon its, its own kind of good kind of challenge in its own right. It's just like the final boss is what kills uh, kills my enjoyment of yeah, it. Cause, like, my thing uh... from. After having played it myself, after having sat down and played Explorers of Sky myself, right, I've had a lot of, a lot of problems with it. Uh, as far the as the game play- paralysis? The paralysis of the planet? The we'll time that, that the planet was paralyzed? Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. Um, <laughs> cause yeah, I think the dialogue is one of the big things that killed it for me. But, it um... so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. No, as far as, like, a gameplay standpoint goes, I feel like the the items are too unbalanced. Like, it's a, it's a roguelike, so it already, I, I will admit, already it wasn't too in my good graces, but I could have maybe let that part slide if the gameplay, you know, kind of helped that. But it is a roguelike that wants you to play it like an RPG, but it does, it wants to do nothing to help you actually play it like an RPG. Health items are sparse. Um, uh, be it Reviver Seeds or Orin Berries. Um, I, I felt like it was too hard to really get anywhere safely because it doesn't want you to play safe. Um, I felt, um, I, I had I hated the fucking monster houses that the game threw at you because that also didn't help the problem with the lack of items either because oh yeah let's just enter a room and throw like nine pokemon at you at once and that's being generous sometimes it was 13. <laughs> oh and sometimes here's the best part a lot of the pokemon had moves like earthquake which shake the whole map yeah um I also have, on multiple occasions, gotten either loot, uh, through, like, a fucking, like, a, two Pokemon that happen to know Constrict, which was 
awesome. Uh, and then the second time, I got one hit killed by a Noctowl in the, the Fogbound Lake. With 99 damage. It was okay, not even a crit! You... It was not even a crit! I want to specify that part. The game did not say it was a critical hit. Also, you do need Oran Berries because you only heal when you're walking around, which also means that you progressively get hungrier as you walk around. And when you're hungrier, you don't heal as fast. Mm -hmm. And when you're in a boss fight, you can't really walk away because all the bosses oh. have a long range attack. Oh, yeah, by the way, on the note of bosses, orbs suck. <laughs> I learned orbs are to. Useless. I learned to avoid orbs while playing because orbs suck. They do nothing against the, they do nothing against bosses. They don't even really do much in battle either. So they basically just bog you down bog down your inventory with these orbs that you're expected to get for specific quests but can't really use in battle otherwise. Um maybe like rainy orb I know the roll Maybe. call orb is Rainy handy. orb, if you have a water type, it helps. If you want to like, boost, like, your attack, but it still uses up a move. Yeah, no, but, it, yeah, there's also, um... How, what was another issue that I had with, with the gameplay aspect of it? Oh, um, by the way, this is something oh. that I personally hated. It's, it's a personal qualm. You... Okay. As an itty bitty baby Pokemon are expected to fight God by yourself. You don't get your partner. You don't get to have your partner when you're fighting Dialga or Palkia or whoever the fuck you're fighting. It's always some kind of God. It's yeah. always God. And you're supposed to fight them as like a Squirtle or a Cubone. And it's like, I thought I was supposed to lose. So when I first played it, I lost. Because I thought I was supposed to, because like in my oh, brain, yeah. I was like, there's By no the way, way I can win. That's what I thought. The, By the, the way, late game problem are just so bullshit. By the way, problem with it being a roguelite, um, and I understand, right? I, I get it. You know, it's a roguelite. The idea is that once you die, you, you're te like, in, in, in the original rogue games, you know, once you die, that's it. You know, you have to restart from the very beginning, and I get that. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon actively punishes you for lo losing the game in a way that makes it to where it becomes even harder to win the next time. Because you're losing all of your stuff, like, once Every you die, time. like, once you lose, yeah, once you lose. So it gets to be this point where you don't have any more items, and you can keep throwing yourself at a dungeon. Hoping to get those items back, or hoping to get items that are good enough to to last into the rest of the dungeon, but you can't because you don't got any items to get through the dungeon. So, well, so we know what they expect you to do. What they expect you to do is constantly do like the bounty quests, <clears throat> like the little mini quests, all the the requests well, on the help board. That's what they, they expect you to do, but they but don't they even really give, give you much. They don't give you- they, one, they don't give you mon much, and two, they don't really give you a good chance to do them, either. Because the game is like, oh, you get one day to do these- to do all these quests, and then we're gonna just drop you back in a story. Well, it kind of depends. Because <clears throat> the way that you played was different from how I played. <coughs> Because what, what I did is, for like a period of time, in order to grind, is I would do it between story bits. Because you do the story bit and you can leave if you want to. You can go back to the guild and you can grind so that you don't get stuck. You didn't do that. <laughs> Excuse me? Ooh. Yeah, um, uh, what was it? Gummies aren't really very intuitive. Apparently they raise stats and I never knew that. Um, I don't know why they really... don't they fill up your hunger bar. Work. They don't fill no, they up your do. hunger bar, which pissed me well, off. No, they do. Not all the well, time. With a candy, I don't expect them to fill that much. No, they, they, the they, 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 they do. They do. No, they helped because I, I would constantly eat gummies whenever I didn't have any apples, which actually wound up being more commonly than not. So no, gummies, gummies do. <laughs> I gummies, hated the hunger system. 
Well, yeah, the hunger system was kind of unnecessary and uh, it, it, whatever. But my big thing, as I said, was like gummies apparently also raised stats, which also helped you like get skills and stuff like that. But it was not very intuitive because it didn't tell you anything uh, in, the, in that department. So you were kind of just left guessing. Um, what your moves did also were not very intuitive either because unless you already knew them being a longtime Pokemon fan, you know, much unlike myself, then you're kind of sitting there kind of just guesstimating what each of these these moves do and whether or not it's a good idea to switch out one move for another. Well, partially um, what they wanted you to do is they wanted you to take the gummies to Spinel. So, not Spinel, fuck. I don't remember the, what their name is. Spinel. There's like a two, yeah, there's like a smoothie yeah, bar but, that opens Yeah, I know. Up. I, I know, um, I never really did find much use for it because I didn't really understand how that worked either, which is another problem. It's definitely not very beginner friendly. Um, yeah, outside of Link moves, I don't think much of the mechanics were really explained that much. I couldn't figure out Oh, Link, link moves! moves. Link <laughs> moves were not very well explained. I went the entire game without using them because after even after being told like what they did, I was like, I don't... What, like, what does this do for me? Like, shrug? Like, I just... Mm. Yeah, uh, plus, you know, most... <laughs> plus, most of the dungeons uh, wind up being filled with water, so if you're not a water type, uh, you're kind of shit uh, up shit's creek with no paddle because there's no way you can swim for some reason. Um... Oh, not only that, uh, both your partners kind of have to be water if you want to traverse safely, because then you'll just be separated otherwise. And yep. that's to your detriment, because you're both the same type. Yeah. Yep. Like... And also, you wouldn't it, know that unless you played the game before! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't tell I, you that shit! <laughs> I mean, so, I guess it, okay, by the way, you have special you, privilege if you're a specific type that no other type gets, because fuck them. So, honestly, I found, honestly found it kind of kind of neat how they, like, sort of diegetically showed that po some Pokemon can traverse certain terrain, because, like, there's the water, there's water Pokemon in the swamp, there's, like, fire Pokemon in volcanoes. Ah, shoot, sorry. But, but, I, but you don't ever get to a volcano, at least in the main story. Apparently, you get to see some in post-game, but... Fuck if I know. Fuck if I also, know or care. Also, by that <laughs> logic, the bird type Pokemon should be able to go fucking everywhere. Oh yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> they fly. They fly. They don't walk. I got wings. <laughs> oh man, there's water here. I can't go by so, that. You're five inches what? above it. So, so the gameplay fucking sucks. Now let's talk about the characters and dialogue. Um, As if you want to say that the PMG story is worth it for the story, no, it's not. You're wrong. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Here's here. We'll we'll talk. I'll I'll talk about the actual story part here in a sec. Let's talk about <laughs> just the characters and dialogue. Because I'm sorry, your partner's a fucking idiot. I love Period. Them. End of yeah, statement. I, love them. I don't. I think it gets to the point, like, there's, there is naivete, and then there's absolute detriment to my health kind of stupidity. Like, yeah. And it's not even, I'm it's sorry. not even story-wise. It's also the AI. <laughs> yeah, well. Because if you lose yeah, that, your partner, they'll move on, they'll just walk around. They won't even try to find you. There, you can become separated completely randomly because if you're fighting a pokemon they can just walk the fuck away and even if they yeah, have range type moves like quick attack sometimes they just won't fucking help you <laughs> yep uh but like uh, also not to mention there's the fucking trap tiles in the in the dungeons which also were a bit of an annoyance uh yep. <laughs> i loved i loved tripping on a rock and losing my item only so i can pick it back up and equip it back to my partner and i <laughs> great, d great game design there. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but the uh, but yeah, no, your partner's a fucking moron. Like just straight up, it's like oh, Dust Noir takes us into the future, just kind of all, out, like out of fucking nowhere. At least as far as we care as as characters, 
out of fucking nowhere, then tries killing us, and then we have to spend a fucking dungeon and a half trying to see if we can now trust the Grovile that we've been out after since the beginning. Oh, also, but we really still- like, everything that you say. <laughs> they repeat everything Yeah, but it's say. like, oh, oh, it's but we so really, funny. we really- Oh, but we really need, we really need to be able to trust Dusk Noir even after he fucking killed, or tried to kill us a couple of times at this point, and now has a fucking search warrant out for us that we have actively seen turn away, like, like, turn us away and, 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 like, actively hunt us down. Okay, sure, cool thing, partner, I'm so glad that I was teamed up with you. <laughs> also, one of my favorites, one of my favorite dialogue stuff is we were. Uh, I, was, yeah. I popped into yeah, the street we the and there was. Yeah, so, no, no, so no, no, let no, me no. let me was, let no. me explain because I know where I think I know where this is going. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, no, the dialogue in this game is fucking repetitive as hell because there, in particular, there was one moment where we were trapped in a prison cell. I think this is where you're going with this. <laughs> yeah, we were trapped yeah, in a prison yeah. cell, and and. <laughs> You know, uh, my partner looks around and goes, Hey, hey, Susie, I think we're in a prison cell. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then, uh, and, and then the partner continues, Hey, sh we should look for a way out of this prison cell, because I think we're in a prison cell. I go to the fucking door, I try to unlock it. Oh, it's locked. So I turn around and look back at my partner. Well, we're, it's locked. You know, we're, we're in prison. And it's like, oh, we're in prison? Holy shit, this is a prison cell. It's like, yes, we've established this already. Thank you. <laughs> I try to get the door. It's like, did you know the door is locked? It's like, we just tried it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then, and then following that, immediately following that, there was the whole conversation about the planet's paralysis, which yeah. I love to, I love to joke about. It's basically the, the, the Kronk's Cusco's poison moment, but entirely, the entire game. It's like, oh, the planet's paralysis, the, the paralysis made specifically for the planet, the time that the planet was paralyzed, you know, the planet's paralysis, you know, that paralysis. Yeah. Oh yeah, I it's all coming this together. Is like real dialogue. <laughs> I want you to know that this is like real fucking dialogue. Grovile's like, by the way, the planet's paralysis was caused by Death Snore. It ended up par pal it's paralyzing so the planet. Bad. And then your partner is like, he paralyzed the planet? He caused the planet's paralysis? It's like, yes, that is what indeed he just fucking said. <laughs> it was so trash. That is indeed uh, what he then... just fucking said. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then the story. The story's convoluted as hell. I'm sorry. If if you guys if 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 you if you people like the story of uh, Explorers of Sky, sure, cool, you know, you do you. But I looked at that and I was like, this is not good. So on the first hand, on, on the one half, like we have the fucking Team Skull shit. Um, it's like, oh, cool, we we're introduced to these villains that are trying to get into our, you know, our uh, mystery dungeon kind of Team Explorer, whatever. It's like cool, we we see that. Um, but it's, like, my least favorite trope ever. Because it's like, oh, these new guys show up, and it's, uh, and, and they get all of the praise, while you, who has been here for a while and has shown some of your worth already been proven, you get completely fucking shafted. Cool. I... Multiple times. I'm so, I'm so glad we were able to turn a blind eye to that. But not till like when it happens in something like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, because I remember Bendy. Mm -hmm. Um, it is my least favorite. It, it is my one of my least favorite cliches, like in any given story, period, ever. Um, but uh, if that wasn't bad enough, then you have the time travel plot, which is another really, really hard to get right cliche. Uh, also, they I've didn't even apologize in... for it when Chatop found out. Like he finally found out. No apology. Oh um, yeah. No. Oh yeah. The whole thing with Team Skull, it it doesn't even come to a good conclusion. Like you don't even get a chance to like beat them up after they relentlessly bully you for like a good chunk of the 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 beginning portion. You know, for like a couple of chapters. You know, you don't even get a chance to fight them. You just because you you constantly keep getting knocked out. And the only people that really kicks their shit in or uh, at the end of the day is Wigglytuff. We don't even get a chance to see that either. So at the yeah, end of the, the day, it's just kind of... Yeah, they get beat up is off screen. <laughs> and so it, it's, there's, it's not even satisfying at the end of their story. But, uh, and, yeah, and then you have the fucking time travel plot. Now, time travel plots I look at as, are things that are very hard to get right. 
because uh, if you try to do a time travel plot, then you wind up coming down to one of two questions. Uh, why did you use time travel to try to fix your problems, and why aren't you using time travel to fix the rest of your problems? And on the one hand, I kind of get why they, they definitely answered, oh, why we went back in time to begin with. Because, oh, we want to try to stop the planet's paralysis. You know, the paralysis of the planet. The planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis was made specifically for the planet. Um, but, but, but it doesn't, they, they never really, they, they don't really do a good job at explaining why can't they just use time travel to fix the rest of the problems. Um, you know, Grovile knows that Celebi exists in the past, too, right? So why do we not just go to Celebi and go back to fix Grovile's mistake of, you know, getting caught or something, shrug? Or maybe to stop yourself from, uh, from, you know, stopping Grovile in the past, you know? Um, so I never so really we, understood we the other thing. Because the way that they explain it right is that you have to steal. Grovile is stealing the time gears. Yeah. Because Dialog I was gonna is get going to that. nuts. I was going to get to that. Yeah. So, um, the the whole motive of going back in time to to get rid to get the time gears and stuff like that is also a little weird. Because like, why don't you just tell Uxie, Azelf, and Mesprit like what's going on? Obviously, they're here like guarding the time gears. They know what the time gears do. And before anyone says, oh, but it was like a lost city or some shit like that, Azelf, Mesprit, and Uxi are the guardians of these time gears. They are they are keeping watch over it. They are they are fucking they know the story of the time gears. So if Grovile goes back into the past, why does Grovile not just tell Azelf at Mesprit and Uxi, hey, I need the time gears to stop Dialgo from going crazy in the future. Will you help me? Doesn't uh, especially since see into the future. Yeah, no, it's, it's special. Time gears it, it's literally a... come with an instruction manual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it it's like it's also it's also like so frustrating too, especially in hindsight, because it's like, oh, what if they won't believe Grovile uh, if he goes back and tells the, these people that he's from the future? Well, they did so anyway. So, shrug. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so they're fine. they're like the equivalent of time lords. How would they not know? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, the, like it's like even the if time, on the option this whole story, travel, you don't understand. Years? How, you don't understand. This entire story is banking on the fact that everyone is stupid. Yeah, that no, everyone it's like is just inept at their job. <laughs> so it's like, what? Like, uh, so the story sucks. The characters suck. The gameplay sucks. Why does everyone like this game? Like, See, uh, this Mystery Dungeons, Pokemon. specifically. This is why the real fans play Explorers of Darkness. <laughs> because you're a Pokemon. Like, Explorers of Sky was is, is probably, honestly, one of the worst games I've ever played. <laughs> Derridus and TP were very disappointed in us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, because the thing was, right, is that I, I hadn't played Pokemon Mystery Dungeons for a while, and I was like, eh, eh, I like it, but eh. And then I started watching it with Susie, and I started remembering and, like, analyzing it as an adult, and I'm like, yeah, this shit sucks. Is it, like, a so it bad like it's so good bad, thing? It's good. I, I've never heard- I don't ever hear anyone else saying that it's a bad game, just, uh, like, other than myself and now Nezzy. So, like, Shrug? No, I, everybody I just, says I don't it's the know. best I, game in the series. It's- yeah, everyone says that it's the best game in the series, and if that's the best that this, this series has, then frankly, I never want to play another Mystery Dungeon in my life. <laughs> like, I was just yeah, not having fun with Explorers of Sky. And at the very least, I don't remember the other ones having time travel. They don't. Just, I just... Yeah, they don't. That's... Because that's the only one that deals with Dialga. Or Celebi. Yeah. But again, like, everyone says one, that is like the- You just fucking fight God. Yeah, you just fight but, you know, the other that's, gods. That's the thing. Every, but everyone says that, you know, Explorers of Sky is- Well, it's either Explorers of Sky or Red Rescue Team. But everyone said that Explorers of Sky was the best that the series had to offer. So if that's the best that the series has to offer, then what are the problems with the other games that, to the point 
we're we're calling this uh, the, we're calling explorers of sky that trash heap a fucking you know, good game. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills here. <laughs> I remember we went into. I went into the call and Susie like, because she kept dying at the hidden lands or something like that. Or we were talking about the dialogue and she was like, and I started agreeing with her and she's like, "Thank you. <laughs> I'm not crazy. It's bad." <laughs> I just. Uh... I still think it's hilarious, the image of a tiny little Squirtle. I say Squirtle because that's the one that I always went with. Fighting Dialga. <laughs> and like the game took it seriously. It's like, no, you're supposed to fight this guy. It's like, I thought it was like a fake battle because there's no way. And it's like, nope, you're supposed to fight him without my partner, without your partner, without anyone I've come accumulated, without anyone you've accumulated by yourself against God. That's it. <laughs> How many reviver seeds do you got? None? Oh, awesome. Great. <laughs> cool, you're about to have less. <laughs> <laughs> but I already don't have any. Exactly. The more you die, they just take it. Yeah. The more you die, they just take it out of the game entirely. Like it just gets deleted Dude, from the know, code. You just Like you become damn near like you become almost soft locked out of Finishing the game if you're not careful, which I think is horrible game design like from a uh, From a perspective of someone who has done like game design classes and stuff like that. I look at that. And I'm like that is awful game design Why do we let this slide? This wouldn't slide in literally any other game, but because it's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky or whatever or just Explorers in general. It's like oh cool. We're just letting that because slide. I guess use... cool because people confuse it being hard with being good. It's like, if I can't do it, then clearly it's great. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Just because your character isn't freaking out on the screen and it's not bugging out does not mean that suddenly this is supposed to happen. <laughs> That's why you have games like I Am The Guy or like Rage Games in general. It's like, it's like what Scott the Was said about Chibi Robo Ziplash. It was like when it was playing the, uh, it was like when it was playing, uh, fuck, Erica, where it's like, you have stories that become so fucking convoluted for the sake of trying to be interesting, but it's just stupid. Like, we were playing every, and everyone agreed with it. We were watching the game. It's not a bad game. It's just, like, the story makes no sense. And it was trying so hard to be interesting that it just became annoying. It was so annoying. You, you found a way of playing Erica? Yeah, I, pl I played Erica. You know, like the movie game? I don't know. Oh, I okay, then no. Okay, also, yeah, I had the wrong name. It's not the same Erica. Okay. <laughs> and not, not only is it not the same Erica, I, the game I was thinking about, uh, about wasn't even called Erica. I just went to go check my, my Steam list. The game that I was thinking about was called Eevee. I have not been able to figure out how to play that game. It's E V I E. Yeah, I've not been able to figure out how to play that game. The game was called Erica, and it's like it's it's like a movie game where it plays a plays a long ass clip, and you're supposed to make a decision. That's it. That's the whole game. And like some, hey, you have to turn on the light or open the box, and it's like, this is cool, and it's very oh, impressive that you did this, but I don't need to turn on the sink. <laughs> I don't no, really uh, need this. Just... And you're not even timed. It's not like if you don't do it, suddenly something will happen. Just nothing happens. You could sit there all day looking at like a box if you wanted. Just stare at the box for five hours. Nothing will happen. I, I'm. A... Hello, Lu I... Hello, Luca, the debt collector. Why is your mic kind of robotic? It hurts my ears a bit. Uh, read down below. I actually have an FAQ for that. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say I'm sorry if I've been quiet, it's just I tuned out from the conversation because, like, you uh, know. It, you know, it's fine. I just... Oh, God. I, like, I, I don't... I don't care if it's a hot take or not. Like, no, it's I, just I, such... I, it was so obnoxious to play. 
<laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, even as someone, like, uh, look, when it comes to Mystery Dungeon game, uh, the Mystery Dungeon series, I think, honestly, the best game I've played so far is just DX, and I think it really helped uh, by the fact that Bowser Dude was with me. <laughs> Just making a fucking uh, and like like Bowser Dude and Sarah and me just going well, mainly me going through like Sarah and Bowser Dude just went no like Bowser Dude joined on the ride and decided to just be the Psyduck and Sarah decided to be the no I I, I forced Sarah to beat the Magnemite <laughs> and I just thought it was funny. Uh, that's what we established like that Susie's. Okay, here's the thing, Psychotic Sonic, right? Right, here, here's here's my thing. I wanted to like Mystery Dungeon. I really did. Uh, I, I remember when they did, like, the little anime special. And I love that. I thought that was adorable. I wish they would have made, like, a, a whole anime off of Mystery Dungeon. I, I would watch the shit out of that. But, like... Playing, uh, like I, so I, so I wanted to like Mystery Dungeon. I just could not. Everything about it was just so frustrating. At the end of the day, my my brother's coming over, so I gotta go. All right, all right. All right. But um, wait, Mystery Dungeon game, like the Mystery Dungeon series, it's just on it. Honestly, I just prefer playing it. When I'm, when there's like crack shit going on. I mean, I kind of feel you. Uh, the I, this is over a game that I like because I like Fire Emblem, but it was a lot funnier when I had several people in the call, and like d I, acknowledging its flaws, because it like Fire Emblem in some aspects it is silly, as much as I do love it, it is kind of silly. It's just way too like Fire Emblem. It's just a game series that it has some silly aspects, and I think what makes it enjoyable. Uh, I think I think playing it with friend, playing it as friends that are going through with it with you is like the fun, the most enjoyable shit. And you can like just have people make witty comments and shit. I think the funniest part was that it, at the end of it, right? Um, you you go through the entire army because you you quote spoilers I guess oh, you God. quote unquote like die and the end of that you go game through is the so whole funny. army the whole army has like something to say and and Susie would Su after like the fifth person Susie's like we're not going through the whole army are we and it's like we are <laughs> baby we are and she's like no why <laughs> <laughs> like on it on it like only in like like the regular or like classic mode, the characters are supposed to perma die if if they fall in battle. But like, <laughs> which I think I just... is both hilarious and stupid, and I would never turn it on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me neither. But if I ever play a fire, well, actually, I did play Fire Emblem Sacred Stones on stream. But if I ever play like some of the other Fire Emblem games, I'm just if I have good internet. I want to have my friends join along with me and see me fuck up tremendously because I'm terrible at it. I, I, I'm, I'm terrible at games sometimes. Hmm. And then I, I think, actually, I can say this. So I was playing Pac Man uh, World Repack on stream, and I was deep down, in, like inside of me, I felt like I was being watched by many. People that are fans of platformers, and and then I said to the chat, "Don't tell Susie about this." <laughs> like to those that know Doodle Tones, do not tell her about this ever. And then Wait, I'm don't tell me right now. Don't tell me about what. It, the way I play Pac-Man World Repack, which is like the remake of pa Pac-Man World, and how bad oh, I don't am worry. at platformers. Oh, don't worry. I. Pac-Man World kind of was weird to play anyway. I can't wait when I save the money to get uh, Mario Maker so that everyone can see how bad I am at platformers. 
Because I think people already started to see it with Sonic. Now, here's the thing, right? I'm not wrong when I say Sonic Forces is a bad game. I am also not wrong in that I suck at playing Sonic games. The only difference between me and Aaron Hansen <laughs> is that I recognize the possibility that I'm just bad at it. <laughs> because you're looking at someone that accidentally hit restart. Oh, <laughs> uh, I will. I won't say anything about like Aaron Hansen, but I remember um, Alpharad's like video about like this sort of like ping pong like drawing uh tournament like oh, yeah, they... like drawing balls tournament, oh. and Aaron Hansen is just grabbing a soda and just drinking the entire thing and then crushing it. And everyone was just hype about that. It's like, yeah, he just drank an entire can. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I don't. See, here's the thing, right? I think he's good at platformers. I don't think he's good at Sonic specific platformers. It's just too fast for him. Yeah. That's uh, and smart. I also understand the reason why. Uh, I get why people get mad at him because a consistent thing is that um he'll read instructions and then immediately forget or just not read instructions and a part of me understands because i think he has adhd so it makes it hard to remember the instructions but the other thing is that like the dude beat battle kid clearly he is good at platformers it's just the speed that's throwing him off <laughs> that's my also, thing some of the games are just broken some of the games are just broken well, yeah, that's one of my biggest things with Sonic is like it's it, it's, it's not really my speed. Like it's it's a little too fast. But I'm dead. um. <laughs> but I'm also not like there's also a couple other things that I'm not really a big fan of when it comes to like the design philosophy of of Sonic, at least as a game. Um, for one, I'm. You didn't like uh, Goth Girl Big the Cat. <laughs> the very well, canon my... Goth Girl Big the Cat. Well, Actually, I. Exist? I was about to say- I like, This is the max source today, if you just want it later, tell me. Fair enough. <laughs> um... But yeah, no, the thing with Sonic, right? I don't hate the series, I'm not a big fan of the games. Like, I think the series is fine. I would not consider myself a Sonic fan by any stretch of the imagination. <gasps> but I don't hate this. I- What? I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm oh, joking. okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh, I thought that, I thought um, I'm was, like, fucking with you. <laughs> but... Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking not... with you as a Sonic fan. Fair enough. But yeah, I, I, I'm not by any stretch of the imagination am I a Sonic fan. Um, but like, I don't hate Sonic as like a series. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of some of the design philosophies of of Sonic. I don't. Uh, one of the things that I, I do kind of like. The, the one of the things that I will say I do like about Sonic, like Sonic's design philosophy when it comes to like uh, game building and stuff like that, is I do think it's kind of neat that they give you so many ways of traversing a level, and if you, it's like, oh, the better you are at the game, you know, you get to use these, these better um, things. But I also think that's kind of one of the... I, I think that's kind of one of the things that kind of locks out people like me who are not super good at Sonic games from wanting to play them. Because you make the alternative route, or like the, the route for those who are not good at Sonic, uh, miserable. Like, it, that, you make them not fun to go through. I think the other thing, right, is, and this could have just been a problem with Sonic Forces, is one of the problems that I had was the inconsistency of momentum when you were running and when you're jumping. Because sometimes when you jump, you can just let go of the controller and he'll just drop. Like wherever he's in the air, he'll just drop. He, there's no like momentum going forward or anything like that. You have to hold on the entire time. The other thing is though, is that, and like I said, I know this is a mechanic of the game. I don't personally like it as a mechanic, but I understand it's part of the game. But because of the fact that you move so fast, the platforming aspect of it is imp it's almost impossible for people like me. Because you have to stop and you have to jump and jump and jump and jump and then you can run. <gasps> And it's not like it's not like a like geometry dash where you just have to you have to pay attention and keep jumping. You have to like aim. 
You have to actively aim where to go. Also, the fucking water slide shit. Here's another yeah. a, another weird take that I, I seem to have when it comes to Sonic that I know a lot of people don't seem to agree with me on or don't seem to eye to eye with me on. Because I'm not a big fan of how the health or how the health is your rings. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan. Because, the thing that I find funny about that mechanic is the fact that the because of Sonic Forces. So if you don't know, you can you you make a character for it. And you have a you can choose between a differentiation of species, uh, but because of the ring mechanic, they've made it so that basically one of the species can't die, and that's the cat. Because every time you get hit, it says I think it says like you'll always keep one ring, so you can't lose all of your rings. Hmm. So the cat can't die in a fight. That's <laughs> it's like the closest thing to an actual life system in. Uh, Sonic outside of just ring me mm. the ring mechanics. Yeah, I also, uh, especially- this is especially a problem with the older Sonic games, not as much with the newer ones, but, um, the- and I- I get it, because it's an old game, it's going to be this way. <sighs> yes, game, I get the fact that I got a game over. No, game, I don't want to restart the game from the very beginning. Oh, I hated that. <laughs> uh, I despise that. That's hilarious. <laughs> like, we are- we have gone far beyond the point where arcade mode as the default is a good thing. So, like, can there just be a stage select? Please? Can we get rid of- can arcade mode simply die? Actually, I don't- I don't mind arcade mode, like, as a little, like, fun marathon sort of thing. Like, I- I understand that, the appeal of that. I just don't feel like it should be the default and only way to play some of these games. Do you like it when the game- when you lose the game and it actively spits on you? <laughs> as, like, just an extra, by the way, type of thing? Do you like that? You perv? Oh yeah, it came over me at Harder Daddy. Fucking step on me, Sonic. <laughs> I, oh god, I just saw something. My voice like this. What the f so I hate I hate something that a mutual of mine just like decided to do. So the poster for the Mario movie was posted and he fucking turned it into a mangas again. I'm like, how many times did you do this again? Way Mongoose is everywhere, yeah. Tippy. It's just a part of life now. But yeah, um... Uh, what was I gonna say? Right, now, as far as, like, Sonic as a series goes, I don't mind it too much. Like, I mean... I find, my, I find myself enjoying a lot of the characters that are, you know, not Sonic. Um... Uh, <laughs> I just, uh, I mean, I'm just not super ingrained into a lot of, like, the, I, like, say the comics or, um, well, I mean, I, or, or, or the shows. I did watch Sonic Boom. And that was fun. But... I watched several of the shows. <laughs> and I'm gonna have my own hot take. Sonic Underground was good and you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't seen Underground before. Like, I've seen, I saw commercials of it for like these DVDs that I got at Blockbusters for okay. the Super Mario Super Show. Fuck I... you. I like Sonic Underground. It has one of the most bomb ass theme songs and the fact that I got cancelled is bullshit. Such an awesome theme song. Also the fact that Urkel voices all of the hedgehogs is hilarious to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to know if he voiced the mom because that would have been really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I- I need- ugh. It's still, like, really early in the morning, I need to keep my voice down, I'm sorry. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, um... <laughs> but, uh, what time is it where you're at, any- anyway? Oh, it's like- Oh, it's like 8 o'clock now. This is- Oh, yeah, because as uh, this is uh, time zones. 
Yeah, Pacific? Yeah, Pacific time zone. Okay, okay, okay. Because it's like, uh... Alright. Now I got it, now I got it. Alright. Fair enough. Hmm. Uh... It, it, it's just that I, I, I need to remember that you're in a different time, different time zone than I am because it's like, it's close to 11 a.m. Mm. for me. Unfortunately, some of us do like to sleep in, and unfortunately, I am that person. <laughs> so I, I, I just gotta remember that I'm not, like, like other people are kind of sleeping, like, just, I, I usually don't uh, try to be that loud or like a nuisance in that kind of way i'm just like uh I, sometimes i just don't remember i don't realize how loud my voice is most of the time you know i do find myself i do find myself getting into a lot of different rants on pokemon streams and i think that's really funny <laughs> I mean, in fairness, this is this is turned into a grind stream, so makes sense. I like playing with matches. And I wish I could do that. You know, having like, just having like a little like a, like a dollar store lighters and just kind of flicking a little trigger thing. I you can find them on Amazon. I can find them at a gas station. <laughs> like I don't use them, but like I don't know, they seem cool. <laughs> I just get kind of paranoid that I might accidentally burn something if I drop it. I like fire. <laughs> I like... I like the way it burns. <laughs> Was that fucking line from Into the Spider-Verse? Sometimes I light a match and then just let it go until it hits the tip of my fingertips just so I can feel something. <laughs> then it just extinguishes uh, before it touches and it's like, oh. <laughs> the fact that Nicolas Cage voiced Noir Spider-Man oh, kills like the me. Best ever. It's just so fucking funny. <laughs> I don't recognize him at all, but knowing, like, thinking I, that under I the mask is just Nicolas Cage. Him. Like, just imagining that, like, Spider Noir, like, picks up his mask and it's, like, Nicolas Cage fucking kills me. <laughs> just imagining him, just imagining he's, like, taking lines from the Ghost Riders, like, scraping at the door! <laughs> just, just the, the nonsense that Nicolas Cage would usually spout out in the freaking psychotic what? Just, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think people are shocked when they learn of my, like, slightly dark side. Because <laughs> Murdoch was surprised to hear me say I like playing with match. Well, I'm not at all <laughs> surprised that you that you like playing with matches. It's, uh, th keep in mind, you're the person that sent me a meme that's like, Oh, they're a little cute! Oh, they're actually quite fucked up. <laughs> it's, like when, uh, it's like when people heard that I used to have anger issues. Or that I beat the shit out of two kids in school. Oh, Lord. I got sent home from preschool twice. Oh, man. I was going, I was going to say, uh, people are actually surprised that I don't normally get a- I, I don't actually get angry. But when I Literally, do, it gets, it, it gets scary. <laughs> Literally, no one should be surprised ever that I have anger issues. I think people I... are surprised when I get angry on streams. Like when I get frustrated at games. Cause I'll go I'll go like dead silence. And I'll like they'll hear me hit something. I hurt my hand once that way. Like I remember um there was that one like there's a difference between me getting angry on streams and me actually being angry at something or someone. Like, because I don't I can be able to maintain my anger deep down within the the, the the realms of my heart really much. But when it lashes out, it gets ugly. <laughs> well, so by the way, I want to make it clear, I didn't beat the shit out of two kids in preschool randomly. I, I did it because they made fun of me. One of them took my hat when they called me a name. And I was also in preschool. I wasn't like a fucking 16 year old beating the shit out of preschool kids. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Man, I wish I was. Although I don't think. Like, although I don't think anyone. Like I just. 
Sorry. Keep, Look, I'm just saying, Nezzy, I don't think anyone would blame you if it was. Hey, at least beat them, he got, beat them up randomly? <laughs> well, no, obviously provoked, dude, but like... I don't think anyone would, would blame you. At least you could beat them up. I'm the kind of guy who would just trip on the grass and eat shit. <laughs> I wish I could be- I, I wish I could have beaten up the fucking racist mom. There was a- oh no. Yeah, my mom yeah. told me about this. It's like she was in the parking lot dropping me off and a fucking white woman- I was speaking to like a boy and the mom, who was of course a white one, pulled him away from me and like gave my mom a look. <laughs> oh boy. It's just like, Asian. <laughs> Bitch, you're in our country! What did you expect? <laughs> like, was it yeah. your choice to go to somewhere you didn't feel comfortable in? Like, did you well, ask yeah. to be in Asia? Well, that's what the military does. Oh. Oh, that's right. It's like, <laughs> not an excuse to be racist. You're still on the base. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I like, don't the really. The least you can do is just like, like, try and cooperate with each other. Like, the least you could do is just not be racist. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, Zenny, but not being racist is kind of the bare minimum. Yeah, I I figured. <laughs> but yeah, I uh. What was I gonna say? Right, no, as far as, like, anger issues go, I kind of just, I kind of wear the fact that I get, like, super, e it's super angry, super fast, like, on my sleeve. I, like, there's no way that I could hide it. I turn into a mom. Like, I, I have the, I have the parent, I have the parental anger. I used to be very aggressive when I was younger, when I was, like, by myself. <laughs> There's this, there's a couple things that I'm not proud of when it, in terms of me being angry, including the fact that I put a dent in my wall with a bat. <laughs> I'm pretty there's sure a my grandma. Bat, by the way. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my grandmother still has a hole in her bedroom from the time I threw a chair. Yeah. I accidentally, I accidentally dented a wall with a wooden katana once. Let it be known, therapy and meds have changed me as a being, literally. <laughs> Because hey, Aaron. I used to Welcome be a to lot chat. worse. Yeah. Hello, Mental Aaron health. Tempest. It's a Welcome to the yeah. Hello, Aaron Tempest. Welcome to the chat. I hope you enjoy your stay. Aaron, Aaron says, "Imagine being angry. Imagine having uh, a fucking. <laughs> Imagine having an apocalypse-worthy storage of cereal." I keep forgetting. Also, we've seen you be angry before, you liar! <laughs> we've seen you angry! We have delved within the rabbit holes with you. You were, you were the one who took us there. We saw shit live, man. <laughs> we, saw, we, were, we saw it live. Also, Aaron yelled at me once because I didn't get sleep before playing Tetris with them. <laughs> you should have gotten sleep! I don't sleep! <laughs> Aaron's just like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you're a liar. You're a little bitch. <laughs> How dare you? He's gonna come in the call and he's gonna get angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's no, I'm no. Calling he... you out, Aaron Tempest. No, Call no, he... you out. No, like he, he can't. I mean, here. he can I... get no, in. Come... He absolutely could. Yeah, yeah, like he no, if he wanted. No, like he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't barge in here being angry. He would. He would come here, do absolutely nothing, and watch us just try and goad him. To he get angry. Intimidate us with his presence, <laughs> just like the fucking SpongeBob meme. He's just standing there, menacingly. He's just standing there, menacingly. <laughs> Here's the difference between you and us getting angry, Aaron Tempest. You just look cool doing it. <laughs> Aaron. Which, how dare it's you? It's a nice argument. 
Aaron's just like, that's a nice argument, Nezzy. Why don't you back it up with a source? Which one? What? Which, which argument? The one that you've been angry before? My answer ah. is I was fucking there. <laughs> we we have witness testimony. <laughs> we, I, I, I can attest as well, sir. My answer is that I was I fucking can... present at the time of the crime. <laughs> See, I, I could source things, but you wouldn't want me to, Aaron. <laughs> those like are spoilers. No, those I are spoilers. I don't record calls, Aaron. Oh, I don't yeah, record yeah, yeah. calls. No, Aaron, I can, I can, I can point out exact examples, but you do not want me to do that. <laughs> oh, no, I do kind of want to clarify, like the stuff Aaron has been angry of, about over aren't really like they're not like super serious matters. It's, like oh. just sort of like rabbit holes that other people have gone through and like Jump stuff that he's found, gone through as well like it's it, it's the fun and, kind of angry <laughs> and now there is not a room for Aaron to uh, hop in if he wanted to hello Umbris it doesn't uh -huh. show uh it doesn't show a person limit on this it, well it, it does, should be no, five it's, yeah it should be five because like like, the regular stream calls here have a limit of five. The open stream call is unlimited, I think. Oh, yeah, open stream is unlimited, but stream calls each have five of these because it would be really yeah, fucking chaotic call, if 53 people... The stream call really doesn't fucking... have a thing on it. Oh, that's because it we are inside the stream call. We just can't see it with... No, it still shows it if you're in the call. Really? It, yeah, it, it should still it does... show it. It has a limit. Hang on, it's give me a five. Sec. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, it has a limit. It's five. It yeah, no. It doesn't they, they, they. Okay, here's uh, a, I think they... I can answer. I think I can answer this. Okay, so, um... You don't have to answer it. I just saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no. Mobile does this weird thing now where, like, when you're in a... I'm, okay, that time VC, I didn't mean to go in the there <laughs> Silence on technologicals. You were born five minutes ago. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Now Aaron cannot go and join to uh, debunk uh, whatever quote unquote fallacious arguments that's going on. <laughs> Don't speak to your what father did... that way. What? What? What, what did I? Wait, come... he's my dad. No, I'm Umbers' dad now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like cool. Just, just Tippy's I, I'm fine with that. Just Tippy's. Just Tippy's pause. It's like, wait, Aaron's my dad. What? <laughs> <laughs> We have a fucking Luke Skywalker moment. Hippie's like missing a hand this entire time. <laughs> anyway, what the hell are you clowns talking about? Don't you fucking call us a clown when you barely can drive. <laughs> you, 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 how, how, how dare you call Don't me out call like that? call us a clown when you hire clowns for your birthday party still, you fucking five year old. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 listen, no, listen, 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 w listen, we do Livy doesn't need to drive, she can just carpool. <laughs> With oh, who? Nice. Your mom. The rest of the clowns. <laughs> <laughs> this I don't is, this having a shell. I, me neither. Guys, y'all, all four of you are clowns, you're an entire circus. <laughs> <laughs> if we're the fucking circus, you're the ringmaster. Uh, I never said I wasn't. <laughs> you know, I, when I when I joined this call, I was like, yippee, I, I get to be in this doodle tone stream for the first time in months, but no, I'm a clown now. Tisk. tisk. You're the one who started it, <laughs> you toddler. By what? <laughs> what did I even say? You literally you called us clowns. clowns for no reason. Did you forget? Is your you just... memory that bad? Do you not have object permanence yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that now. <laughs> you know right, congratulations. Can you also you put the square that? block in the proper hole? Ah uh, yes, the square hole. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, Doodle, I have to ask you a question, but like... Uh, so... 
the the thing that you have for like the Pokemon, uh, how the fuck do you do that? Like on top of like, uh, this, uh like the portraits for like the Pokemon. It's a program that I use called Pokemon Team Display. Oh. Um. I use Pokelink. I can send you the file yeah, if you I want. I just found the first one that I I could use. Uh, unfortunately, it only goes up to Gen five. So if I if I do manage to get like Citro working or something and do Gen six, I can't use that tracker. I'm gonna have to find another one anyway. I think mine does. Mine does use it for Citra. I'd have to check though. I think it even uses it for the Switch, but it's like a for an emulator, I think. <clears throat> Pokelink Windows. Windows, baby. If you want, I would suggest using Pokelink if you want, like, a more diverse range of, like, styles. Like, if you want to, if you want them appear differently. They've also got ones that are animated. I need to learn how to set that because, like, I want- I want to, uh... They're also wanna... great for Nuzlocks. I think that's what this yeah, was yeah, originally yeah. used for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love how I don't even really need the Pokemon tracker at the top right now. Currently. Because of my bottom screen. Okay, I found it. The auto-detect goes up to Gen 8. Perfect! Uh, you may have to look up a video on- I don't know if you can hook it up to the Switch. I think it's only used for emulators of the Switch. Which baffles me that there's emulators for a product that's, like, <laughs> still alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, in fairness, back when the 3DS was relevant, Citra was a thing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Fair enough. I- and, uh, I actually know, I- I- I don't- no, there there were Wii U emulators, but like, let's face it, who gave a crap about those? Yes. I wanna like how Susie, how did you do like the older Mario Party games? Cause you were you playing with other people? No, I did those with, with bots. Ah, uh, never mind then. Alright. Cause I really miss I miss Mario Party 8. That was my favorite one. Yeah, oh, no, me Mario too? Party. That game was pure kind of savage. I, 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 I loved Mario Party 8. My, my disc got scratched and I was like, wah. It had I, the best I, boards and like the best mini games for me. And the best yeah. music. Some of the some of the mini games were actually really fun too. I like the cake one. Oh, no, my favorite. Do, do, do you remember the one where you had to shake your remote uh, to like, with like, where your characters were like shaking a like can? You mean a soda can? You mean a soda yeah. can? Yeah, that the was the one that was one. like that... pretty much physically impossible to lose. Yeah, yeah, no, that game was pure savage. By the way, um, would use the uh, word savage. Uh, how in the fuck did I find the Pokelink app? Uh, I'll send you the file in a second. Thank you. I'll just send it to you. You need a. Uh, do you use Desmume? Yes. Okay, give me one second because you actually need another thing for Desmume. It took me forever to find, but I can just give it to you, luckily. Thank you. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Cause the thing is, I if I get better internet, I wanna go and plan on me uh, uh, doing a Nuzlocke so I can make fun of myself. I think, uh, I think the real problem with trying to play uh, Mario Party 8 with everyone is that, like. The, we'd have to somehow emulate Wii controls for not I, just one, but everyone I, playing. I I think they're because C like the way me and some others did it when we played Mario Party Six was like we used Parasite. However, uh, you have to have like the best internet connection known to mankind to have yeah, that work. Yeah, there's a little bit of lag to it. I use and Parsec also... for Cuphead. I think it has a... Because uh, Steam has gotten a little bit better when it comes to multiplayer stuff, like lo mm -hmm. local multiplayer. It added a thing where even if it's a local multiplayer, you can invite someone via Steam 
That's how I played Star Wars with Susie. Yeah, me but and it's Aaron. laggy yeah, as hell. Well, yeah, that's because yeah. your computer sucks. <laughs> no, it was just laggy as hell. I can yeah, play I can, the game can... on my own. Yeah, I can vouch for that too. The playing Wizards of Legend was a little laggy on my end as well. And Susie doesn't I... like Parsec, understandably. I I, I remember playing the. Uh... Was it overcooked with buggy uh, through remote play? And it was all right. It was functional, which is really surprising coming from me, who has uh, the shittiest laptop known to mankind, at least now, uh, because I ruined it. And also the shittiest internet connection known to mankind. Can I? Can I? Can I just go and mention? Uh, after what I saw, after what Danica, uh, you know said about her having a two a computer from 2002 mind you oh my. oh my did you see the tweet where she said that the bottom was melted yes <laughs> yeah she wasn't paying attention so when she went to go like disassemble it the fucking bottom of her pc was melted no oh, that no. i i i feel secondhand embarrassment from that <laughs> That's how like that's how old it was. That's how old it was. It was It's a... older than me. It's a fucking I'll play Mario Party 8 when. Well, we did play Mar the newest Mario Party, like Zenny uh Zenny Tippy well t no wait, Zenny didn't play. Oh, yeah, it. I, Tippy, I Horus, and Key and I have like a couple streams where we've played the newest Mario Mario Party Superstars. I, I've only played. I've played it once, which was fairly recently. Uh, God, it, it was going great until uh, you, you know when Daisy wasn't playing with us. It was the best experience. But then she got an Ethernet cable, and she, she was actually tolerable to play with. <laughs> yeah, this this is this is a call out to you, Daisy Foxtrot. Get better internet. <laughs> Look, my internet, no, 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 no. At least with Daisy, her internet is tolerable. Also, I'm joking. I'm joking. When it when it comes to Puyo Puyo Tetris is when it's awful, but Super Mario Superstars is actually semi-decent. Yeah. As yeah, long no, as we I... don't get, like, the levels that have a bunch of shit. In the, I, 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 in the I'd, I'd in love background. I'd love to play with y'all, but, like, my, my internet... I I need to like pick a gun and pray with that shit. The thing is, is that my oh god, Nezzy, remember when I was playing Mario Party Superstars and the internet was just. Mm, hey, Dragon yeah, we had to. I'm so glad that they have a system where it auto saves if someone leaves, because we had to do that. I think maybe twice. Mm. I yeah. I think, I I think the worst part with like Nintendo games and they're online with me is that like i have uh, like i am all the way across the pond from y'all so i don't know how reliable the connection is going to be also in fairness like Umbris, i'm pretty sure also... i'm farther away and my yeah yeah no I, in <laughs> fairness you're also like i think you're even further away from the u.s than i am Actually, I what, do what, think wait, it no. was a lot. I do think it was incredibly funny when we all got together and we played Mario Kart 8. <laughs> I, I I wasn't playing, but I was there. <laughs> I still haven't gotten Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because uh, it, it's funny because originally I was like, oh, what's the point in getting this game? I got the DLC through the Wii U version like not too long ago. Why buy this one? But then, like, love. everyone under the human, uh, uh, everyone under the sun had it, and I was like, okay. Still I haven't gotten it. How Palace plays the Mario Kart 8. I feel like that would be really funny. Cloud yeah, Palace be, plays Doke Upon Kingdom. Did, didn't, like, you have, like, an idea where, um, we had to, like, we had to compliment each other as we were playing? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. It was this, this <laughs> idea I saw in a comment section. Where you're not allowed to insult the people that you're playing with, you have to compliment them. You cannot you cannot say anything bad about them or yourself. You have to be like aggressively happy the entire time. We saw uh, Tippy showed me a video of, uh, uh, of someone doing that actually. <laughs> I would uh, love to do that. I think it would be hilarious. Party. It was it was a uh, TC Nick 
having to just compliment everyone. It was so also funny tricky. because by the end of the fucking game, he just like explodes in a bout of toxicity. <laughs> it's so funny. We should do it. I think it would be hilarious. It would be so, so fucking funny. funny. <laughs> you, you you know if I did that, you know what I'd be? I'd be like the nicest person ever. But then like at the end, you know you know like uh, the uh, you know like um uh, the like uh, meme where it's like. The British guy, like talking shit about someone. I, I can't say uh, what meme it is specifically because that's a banned word on Twitch. But uh, it, it's just it's just the it's just the British guy in the red coat, and he just like I, I don't know how to describe it, but I, I I think you might know what I'm talking about. I would want to try though, if, like. If any other adult wanted to try it, where it's like, if you do insult someone, you have to take, like, a shot or something. Mm -hmm. Like, eat something gross or whatever. Oh, man, if I had, like, the fucking bean, bean boozled shit, every time oh, I the bean someone, boozled. I gotta take a bean boozle. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Listen, give, give me a couple months, I'll be able to drink then. <laughs> I highly doubt it. You were born five minutes ago. Shut up. Also, Tippy, uh, in uninstall Citra and your Desmume, but go into you know where your Desmume files are, right? Yeah. Go into your files and take out the the states, the one that says states on it. That's where your save slots are. States and battery. Take out your battery and your states. Put it on your desktop for now. You're gonna be putting those files back into the file that I give you. Because yeah. I'm I'm giving it to you pre setup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the thing is, I don't want to mess around with any uh, with the things with that I. Yeah. yeah, because there's enough slot that I need to finish. With oh, Luxcat. that's right. Well, that's Yours why I'm telling you to take out the battery in the states. That what's uh, that's where your save files are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't have to uninstall Citra. It just has Citra uh, set up in here. I don't have Citra installed, but... Oh, well, you, then you can you can just... This one has a... This file has a Citra set up, so you can just take that. <laughs> Use nightly. Would you guys be willing to stream the game The Bathhouse for October? I've got one game in mind already for what I want to play for, uh... For October. I still gotta play the joy of creation this October because of the fact that they have fifty fucking subs for me to play it. I still have to play it. I still need to get back into streaming and finish immediate rebirth. God has evolved. God has evolved. Uh, I was going to say. Um, speaking of nuts locking, I think I feel more confident in doing soul links than doing it on my own because on my own i get anxiety anxiety even more so but at least with soul links i can just drag someone up to my shenanigans now whether or not that's a good thing um you, you, you guys actually have good enough PCs to do these fun things. I, I, I had a, I, I actually had a pretty decent one, but like, ne never give a child a really good PC because they're gonna install like 50 billion viruses onto it. Mm. Are you planning on like getting like a new like computer PC at some point? Uh, so, uh, my mother uh did say that if i do get a laptop for christmas it will probably be the only thing i get but i i know I, I know she's bullshitting <laughs> i asked my dad to help me get a computer i'd help i would help pay him back because uh because he knows that this is like my job because it's very hard for me to find a job due to my intense anxiety and mental Dude, health problems it was gr it was great hearing my mom straight up tell my uncle the the man who helped me make the PC that I currently have that he's not allowed to help me upgrade it. Damn. Why? But I don't know. Like it's, it's <laughs> just not just, just because of, it's not coming out of either of your wallets, is it? Um, I, I mean, it's gonna have to come out of mine, obviously. So so what's the issue here? I don't know, but, but no, like, he's not he's, even he's, like help setting things up, as in like. My my mom straight up has told him that he's not allowed to help me upgrade. 
which is which That's sucks because <coughs> which sucks because my computer is almost a decade old. Mm. I've had mine for almost six years. I've had mine for almost. You've been alive. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I've had yeah, mine yeah. for. I've had mine for almost ten years, and it's so like it's it's getting on in its age. Mm. You, you know, Nazi, mm -hmm. I was really excited to meet you, but now you're my biggest <laughs> rival. You you are the shadow to my Sonic. You are the virtue to my Dante. No, 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 you don't get to call me a rival. I don't fucking rival with people that are 12. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't rival someone I'd legally be allowed to babysit. Y you're, like, it's a one-sided rivalry. It's... Yep. It's just, let's call it that. Um, no, it's like... So why I, the fuck I don't would know. you be excited to meet me? I'm me. See, <laughs> see Nezzy, you why won't get this you? joke. See, Nezzy, you won't get this joke, but Umbrus will. Nezzy doesn't, uh, Nezzy doesn't beef with people in their mid-twelves. I will... <laughs> I, I will- I will end your life. <laughs> I will go, uh, can I just go and say something? Where, like, if I ever had a rival in- 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 I'm not speaking about the server, I'm speaking about, like, in general. Like, I'd be like, bro, I'm not gonna fight you. That's yeah, still funny, no. funny. I think I've had someone that's attempted to be my rival before. It's like, oh. dude, I- dude. You belong in a daycare. I'm not gonna wait. fight a baby. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That actually wait. happened before? <laughs> no, what? no. Well, kinda, but they weren't like a baby. <laughs> Lucy, what do you mean mid twelves? You know what I mean by mid twelves. You know it. You know it's a direct mean. reference to one of your videos. <laughs> I will say the um. Oh I... fuck you! I know what you're referencing now. <laughs> Don't meet your heroes, kids. We're gonna bully you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, are, are you referencing the video where it's like, Oh, I stopped eating Happy Meals when I was in my mid twelves. Yeah. You said I, that when I you were, what, 13? <laughs> yeah, I, I hate you. I don't eat unhappy, I don't eat Happy Meals. I eat unhappy meals now. What? <laughs> what? Why is young? Why did young Livy turn into Stitch? I know. Like, that's the only voice I know how to do. <laughs> it, it was so. I I remember I remember hearing that. I had to stop the video and just laugh because it was like. Because at the time, I think you were like thirteen, maybe fourteen, if I was pushing my I, luck. I I I was like just. Barely, because there's like uh, twenty. Yeah, I was barely thirteen. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember when I first met you. Like you didn't like, uh, like I remember meeting you. I think when you were twelve, close to thirteen. Yeah, no, I remember. No, no, no. What was it? Hey, Tiffy, I remember when I first got into your friend group. No, I was just known as the really annoying kid who just kept sp sending memes and no mic. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, no, I I remember like w when like I started hanging around your group. Like Rio and I had like a, a rivalry with each other. Yo. Like Rio was like. Oh, what? You Thank you for the twenty-five gift me. subs, Big Mac. Oh, oh my god. Hey. Jesus. Hey, sis. Cool. We no, we no, like, Tippy, like, that time period when I was getting to know your friend group was pure funny. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's just like, it, and then there's like, a, at least for me, at least for me, like, just looking back at, um, looking back at, like, when I first joined in, I, I don't know how. But I managed to befriend people in- Also, thank within... you for the gift sub to Aaron Tempest. Yo. And the gift sub to Dragon Knight. <laughs> <laughs> gift sub to Dragon Knight, now he's giving Individ- 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 <laughs> And the one for Murdoch. And the Murdoch! <laughs> and once again off the grey, and again off the white, and- Get off the white, and Monty Pan and the Holy Grail's Black Knight. Black Knight. Uh
No, what, what was it? I. Uh, Tippy, I've told you. Yeah, yeah. I, I've told you this story, 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 story before, Tippy, but like just for those in the back. Uh, I, I'm still not over how, like, I just. I don't even remember how I joined your server. I think it's just one of those servers that, like, you just randomly fell in and it's like, how did I get here? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I just joined it because, like, I knew you were a commentator and it's like, whoa, Tippy is uh, based. Uh, so I, I joined the server and I was like, I don't know anyone here. I, I know, like, a handful, but, like, and, and also, like, no VCs happen. Uh, so I was almost about to leave, but then two things happened. One, I noticed VCs were becoming a regular, and secondly, I found out you made me admin. Why? Why did you do that? What? I okay, so, to be fair, I think it was during a time where I was trying to, like, gather admins. You, me making you an admin was the worst mistake. No! <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? I was actually decent. I was, I was actually okay. alright. Yes! Like, you could have apped first before, like, <laughs> bring her in that position, though. Like, yeah, that was, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that was, yeah, it, but, um, hi, son, I, I, you were one of the better admins, element, like, in, in I, I, I mean, I mean, I, in, in, in fairness, I mean, there, there wasn't much competition. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people are doing stuff and shit. So, but I'm I I do want to like say I'm very sorry for. Uh, I should have asked. Well, I should have asked. Well, 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 Tippy, you doing it out of nowhere was better because if you never made me admin, then like I wouldn't be in your server and I wouldn't be friends with you. <laughs> yeah, it's like I just. <coughs> If I'm right, I think the reason why I made you admin was because, like, I felt like, given that I didn't know much about, you know, mo moderation and stuff, well, I just wanted to, like, get some people to help a little bit. I just, you know. Uh, yes, I would like people to help me moderate the server. This fucking 14 year old looks. Hey, look! No, enough. what? Hey, look! One of two Pokemon that I can use Water Sport on effectively! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you're I, I, I'm yeah, not letting that go. I, again, <laughs> you're not, you're not letting that go for sure. But yeah, no, um, big, big mistake. <laughs> I would say like mistake in the sense of hey, I sh should probably ask. Before. That uh, it, it, listen, it's okay. Uh, that, no, it's funny because uh, your your server had VCs every two seconds, so like, uh. It's funny, I don't remember a lot about 2018 because I was just terminally in Discord VCs. I just never left. I I, I was just always in them. And uh, it's funny because when I start, first started using Discord, uh, like my uh, like my family didn't really know. I didn't, like, they didn't know about like voice chats and the fact that I used them. So I was very like secretive about them for the longest time. But now like they don't really care. Uh, but, like, back then, I was like, okay, how do I make it unhearable? So I just covered the speakers with my palms, but then I discovered the, uh, the headphone jack. <laughs> you really are, like, six. It took me two <laughs> years. No, 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 it took me, like, a year to, uh, figure that out, actually. That's amazing. Uh, I, I It's, like, honestly say... kind of impressive. <laughs> Damn. Look, if, 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 I, I, I will all probably talk about this when it's not on stream and shit, but like, there have been moments where I didn't know about certain things until people told me. Uh, actually, yeah, it, it's the funny. age of 20. It, 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 it's funny because uh, I started using Discord in 2016. <laughs> I, I, I go back. Like, I'm not one of the OG Discord users, because if I was, that I would have been, like, 2015, but, like... God, I, I, there's some uh, screenshots... Yes, you, go um, back, you go back to a couple of days before everyone else jumped ship. Because, <laughs> like, I still have screenshots on my laptop of, like, the really old Discord UI, and God... <sighs> It's so... No, I remember when Discord told you, like, how many people are online when you're not even looking at your friends list. Why did they remove that? 
Oh yeah. But, yeah. You know, I I fuck man, I remember having to talk to uh talk to cabbage through fucking Google Talk. Uh, <laughs> not even Google Hangouts? <laughs> no, this was before Google Hangouts. Google Talk. <laughs> oh, man. Here, I want I, I want everyone to file a self-report on themselves. Uh, who here also used Google Plus, because I did. Me. I mean, I had... Um, we all had to at some... We all had to at some point. Yeah, you um, didn't, didn't have a YouTube channel without it, right? Yep, yep. Is Google Plus still a thing? No. No. Nope. I don't think so. Okay, then I don't think I used it. Mm. But anyway, I don't think uh, yeah. I did? I Probably not. I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, no. Ca Cabbage can tell you, like, when we first met, uh, we, we went through a. F we went through a few fucking platforms. <clears throat> we went, uh, we went through Google Talk. Um, we met on Chitango. What? Um, what? <laughs> yeah, Chitango, that's some old school shit. It was a fucking chat thing that you would put on, like, websites and shit. Oh, um, goodness. <laughs> Must be old yeah, if I don't even remember it. Fucking that shit. That shit takes me back. But yeah, we mm. met on Chitango. We talked on Google Talk. Um, then I think we moved to Skype. But we've also have since tried TeamSpeak. I think there was a time where we did Ventrilo. There was one time where we did. Oh, what was what? What was that gaming platform one in particular? Mixer. Was, um. No. You guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. Um... TeamSpeak? I don't know. No, we, I, I just got through saying... I just got through saying TeamSpeak. Oh, I was not there paying was, attention. There was, like, <coughs> one that was, like, specifically for gaming, and we had to use it for, I think it, it was an ARK Survival Evolved server? I wanna say? I can't fucking remember. It's been such a long time. Uh, and then we moved over to Discord after some time. I remember using Skype for, um, Casting Call Club. Oh, I yeah. Oh, the only reason I ever got a Skype account, because I was, like, a Discord user first. Mm -hmm. I only use Skype because, like, the, the, the SEC just hasn't, uh, like, at the time they didn't, like, most of them, like, use Skype and Discord, but, like, a lot of them have yet to migrate to Discord. Yeah, I think the only reason... Like, one of the two reasons why I got Skype <coughs> was because, like, uh, there was auditions for, like, this comic dub channel going on. Because Undertale was really popular at the time, and so were its AUs. What was the channel Dude. called? It was, uh, Echo Dubs. I thought it was Dubtail Productions. Man, I wish, <laughs> I yeah. wish it was Dubtail Productions. Honestly, I, I wasn't... Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, Please. I wasn't the best fit, and, like, I... Believe it or not, they're not really uploading anymore, uh, over- for, like, years now. I- I'm just hoping they're all doing well. Wait, who? I- yeah. I remember we all stopped using- yeah. I remember as, like, the SEC stopped using Skype because it stopped being a good platform. I mean, it was never really a good platform, but it stopped being, like, a viable platform. <laughs> yeah, that, that's- no, yeah, we all kind of migrated to this have, eventually. I did wind up, uh, I did wind up- Reopening Skype sometime after. It's so much different and so much worse than it used to ever, ever used to be. I think I remember I had to move to Skype. I had to move to Discord because um, a lot of projects at the time were using Discord because it's just it's just better optimized for like organizing different things. So like you got your voice actors, you got your artist, you've got like you, you have a chat to send references in so that the general chat doesn't get bogged Bro. down. Bro, what if, and hear me out, what if the SEC moved to Zoom? No! <laughs> Susie, I would actually no. fucking kill you. God, no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, please, no. 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 <laughs> Susie. 
Susie McDoodle Tone. Visceral reaction. God. Susie, 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 Susie. I'm the second oldest member in this call because you're older than me by a few months, and I feel like a fucking boomer right now. Oh I hate God. using Zoom. I, I want to be a part of those. No, Zoom I would never use Zoom. Zoom. Dude, I I would never I would never use no, Zoom. No, I'm I literally I, I, I literally only brought it up just to hear your guys' visceral reaction. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate Zoom. I, I, oh, no. Okay, no 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 no. I as as the as the person who had to put up uh with uh you know what uh hold up. Yeah, I would never I would never use Zoom like unironically. Zoom Unless even I really had to. I, I thought it was only for calls. I know that it has a chat box it's for the call. It's it's basically Skype. It makes your idea of the MySpace commentary community look good. Hey! MySpace is actually not a bad platform. Yeah, all the drama would start because of fucking the because a certain commentator wasn't in your top eight anymore. <laughs> you removed me from your top eight. I am no longer friends wait. with oh, this commentator. Wait, I, didn't even, I didn't even realize that I was going up against a fucking Geo dude, and I tried using an electric type move on it. Whoops! <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> Calib re recalibrating. Give me a sec. <laughs> Then you try to resurrect, resurrect MySpace yourself. Yeah, and then Space Hate came along and I was like, Motherfucker, I've been trying for years! I was gonna say, um... When it comes to plat- Dude, uh, seriously. Huh? Seriously. Move the SCC to Pillow Fort. <laughs> Move you the SCC that. to Tumblr. <laughs> that, that's why I said pillow fort. Uh, <laughs> move the SCC it... to Google Hangouts. <laughs> Google Hangouts doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore. Then what the fuck? Okay, hold on. Google Meetup. Google Meet. That's yeah. what I use for my therapy appointments. <laughs> Google something. It's Google Meetup, yeah. Man, don't need a lot of invite codes. No, 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 no. Pillow Fort is a is a five dollar uh, sign up. Welcome to Facebook Messenger. Yeah, you can you I can remember. get a Pillow Fort for you can get a Pillow Fort account for like five bucks. So you don't need invite codes. This isn't like Toy House. Toy House, you need invite codes. I would love it if we all communicated via fucking email. <laughs> Just like the good old days. <laughs> and like it like a like a shitty meme and all you get back is like lol. <laughs> <laughs> um that give me a good reason to actually look through my emails every every so often. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the cloud palace. So. We have all effectively moved to AO3. Oh yeah, no, no. I remember. Fucking <laughs> no, let's let's revive AOL. Let's go. Yes. Let's no. go. We're not doing Emily is OA again. We're going back to the 80s, baby. Way, the entirety of the cloud God. palace communicated via like a Google Doc. By the way, so can I just talk about a bit about Toy House for a bit? And how I created yeah. some of the most complicated bullshit when I all I could have done is ask you to give me an invite code. Yeah. Yeah, because right. um, oh well. I forgot my e I forgot <laughs> No, my yeah, let's Well no no fucking Verdog's like not America Online. Yeah, let's move to America no. Online. Let's move to AOL. Let's, go. let's We're gonna fucking go. role play Emily is away. This is uh, America. Also, also really really I will, quickly. I will I, I will fucking oh, wow. I will fucking set my I will set my profile picture to a Linkin Park album cut uh, album cover. Let's go. <laughs> I called my chemical romance. 
No, I was, I was, I was going to say before I had the BRB. No, listen. Uh, Y'all had to use Zoom. I had to use Microsoft Teams. That shit oh, sucks. Oh, man. Uh, Ew. Anyway, we've been going for a couple hours, so as fun as this <laughs> conversation has been... <laughs> Where's the AOL? <laughs> I love Murdoch's, like, Susie, these are all awful <coughs> ideas. Please cease immediately. <laughs> these no, are great ideas. Know. I don't know we're what gonna you're gonna review, talking We're going to review. We're going to revive AOL. We're going to do a whole commentary Dude, via AOL no, chats. No, we're just... Uh, no, instead of Twitter, we'll use Pillow Fort. Instead of, uh, in, instead of YouTube, we use Utreon. Instead of Discord, we use AOL. It's fine. These are these are good <laughs> ideas. We trust can use me. My trust daily me. Video. Use my daily video instead. No, use Utreon. Yeah. No, use Utreon. Utreon's really good because um they actually cracked down on uh on Sylveon when when he was trying to stalk oh. me there. Uh. Yeah. I very Reject much in support of Utreon. <laughs> Reject modernity, um, embrace tradition. <laughs> we're coming back to 2011. We're coming back to 2003, baby. <laughs> um, we're gonna anyway. go like a fucking Prince Hansen chat. <laughs> God. Just anyway. Specifically for Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna go find fucking some. Fucking how to how, how to catch a catfish. Christ, Yo, guys. I. I I, I keep hearing the phrase catfish. I only think about the actual fish, not like the. Oh my god, we get to. We get to, to meet the guys from Catfish to the show. <laughs> we still gotta fucking. We you gotta even, do the Yoon's plan where name? we catfish. We do the catfish show just so that he could get like a free plane ticket here. <laughs> I am still. Anyway. I'm anyway, still later, out guys. of the loop. I think that's actually. Yeah. Thinking that's a fishing show. Okay. <laughs> X videos instead uh, yeah. of YouTube. Later. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> Me. Later, chat.